Estimate Sums Lesson 1.3. You can click the description to see the previous lessons that you've missed so you don't become lost or confused. We know that a sum is the answer to an addition problem. An estimate tells us about how much or about how many. It's a number close to an exact amount, like 96 is about 100. It's almost 100. That would be an estimate. We can estimate sums by using compatible numbers. Those are numbers that are easy to compute mentally and are close to the real numbers. We can also use place values to round. If you see the previous video, 1.2, about rounding to the nearest 10 or 100, you'll understand. Compatible numbers easily make tens, hundreds, thousands, etc., and so on. So if we do 1 plus 9 equals 10, 10 plus 90 equals 100, 100 plus 900 equals 1,000. Those are easy to do in your head and do mental math. So these would be compatible numbers, including adding a 25 and a 75 to get 100. Counting quarters is like skip counting by 25s. We have 25, 50, 75, a dollar. We can do that with compatible numbers, 25, 50, 75, 100, to help us add to estimate. So we can use compatible numbers to estimate a sum. We have 427. We can make it 425. We have 286. We can make it 275. So we have a 7525 here to make another 100. Then our estimate would be 700. If we add them for real, we'd have a 6 and a 7, which is 13. We regroup the 1 and put the 3 down. We do 8, 9, 10, 11, regroup the 1 again, put the 1 down, and then we have a 7. So the actual sum is 713, but our estimate is 700, which is close to 713. We change the 427 to a 425, the 286 to a 275, because it's more compatible to add groups of 25. Now, because these actual numbers are greater than the compatible numbers, 427 is greater than 425, and 286 is greater than 275, because these actual numbers are greater than the compatible numbers we used, the actual sum will be greater than our estimate. 713 is greater than 700. And it also works the other way around. If we came up with compatible numbers that were more than the actual numbers, then our estimate would be more than the actual sum. We can also use two tens and eight tens as compatible numbers because two plus eight equals 10, 20 plus 80 equals 100. And we could have just turned that into a 20 and an 80 and then added 420 plus 280 to estimate about 700. That would be close to the actual sum. We can also use place value to round to estimate a sum. We have 427 plus 286. We find the place value we want to round. So we're going to round to the hundreds place to get a good estimate. So we're rounding this 4 to the closest 100. The 2 is telling the 4 to stay the same. So we get a 400. For the 286, we're rounding to the nearest 100. So this 8 tells the 2 to go up to a 3, and then it becomes zeros. We add 400 and 300 and get an estimate of 700. We can estimate with compatible numbers. We can make this 73 a 75. We can make this 24 a 25. That's close. We can add the 75 and 25 and get 100 for our estimate. And the actual sum is 97. That's about 100. We can estimate with 
rounding to a place value. If we round to the nearest hundred, this zero tells the two to stay the same, and then all the numbers to the right become zeros, so that rounds to 200. This nine tells the three to go up to a four, and then they become zeros, so we have 400. And 200 plus 400 is 600, and that would be our estimate. The actual sum would be 593. That's very close to 600. So again, using compatible numbers, we can say 57 is about 50. We can say 22 is about 25 and add them and get a 75 for an estimate. The actual sum is 79. But if we use place value to round for 57 plus 22, this 7 tells the 5 to go up to a 6 and then it turns into a 0, so we have 60 when we round it to the nearest 10. And this 2 tells the 2 to stay the same, then it becomes a 0, so that's a 20. And when we add 60 plus 20, we get 80. So using these numbers as compatible numbers, we get a 75 for an estimate, and when we round to the nearest tens place, we get an 80 for an estimate. So depending on which method we use, we may get a different estimate, but both will be close to the real sum. They're just estimates, they're not exact. Now take a look at this table right here. It's the monthly sales for cookies and candy bars in the months of October, November, and December. So we can see in October they sold 92 cookies and 318 candy bars. In November they sold 56 cookies and 271 candy bars. In December they sold 74 cookies and 127 candy bars. So about how many cookies were sold in October and November altogether? So we look for cookies right here. We look for October, it's 92. We look for November cookies, that's a 56. We can round this 92 to a 90, and we can round this 56 to a 60, and add them and get about 150 for an estimate. The actual sum is 148, so that's a good estimate. Using estimates, were there more cookies sold in October or in November and December combined? So were there more cookies sold in October? That's about 90 cookies. Or November and December combined? So that means we need to combine these. So we can round this 56 to about a 60 and this 74 to about a 70 and that would be about 130. So that's more than October. So November and December combined, there were more cookies sold. We can write each number sentence, each of these number sentences, under the better estimate of the sum. We have 291 plus 304 is equal to an estimate. We can put it here under 600 because 291 is almost 300, 304 is almost 300, and that would be 600. So we put it under the 600 for the best estimate. 622 plus 95, we can round that to 600 plus 100. That would be about 700. So it would be best under this column for an estimate of 700. 287 plus 412, we can round that to 300 plus 400, that's about 700. And 174 plus 423, we can use compatible numbers and say it's about 175 plus 425, that's about 600. So we just took each one and put it under the best estimate. So we can estimate sums by using compatible numbers or rounding place values to the nearest tens or hundreds to make an estimate. And remember, depending on which method we use, we may get a different estimate, but either way we're going to be close to the real sum. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye!